Welcome, I'm Kenneth Andre, Tenga Jutsu Master and Mystic Ninja. Again, before I begin, <laughs> if you've been following me, you'd be sick hearing me saying this. Everything that I say and do and share is for a reason. If this sounds like a contradiction, just investigate further. Contradictions arise through lack of precepts, concept, concepts, and the seeing of a transformation, a transition, a transition from states or two phases, okay, from one to the other. All right. So in this one, I'm going to share, step into the mysteries a bit more. Um, I'm going to be talking about the serpent, the dragon, okay. Before I do, those who are, should we say, looking up, seeing the signs in the illuminaries, okay, in the celestial vents that's been unfolding over the 11 years now, and we, we crossed the middle, should we say, and there is many of us who have obtained wisdom, waiting for a wonderful transformation. And hence we're looking out for the symbols, the signs, not just in the illuminaries, but also, should we say, in these synchronicities, in numbers and symbolisms that just suddenly appear around us. Now, funny enough, there is a double... M class sun flare, like a twin that's just gone off, gone off. Also, we've got the moon um, moving through Gemini. Okay, twins. This morning, there was two delivery fans up the road. And what well, well, one parked outside my house and one just up the road. <laughs> Funny enough, they were both delivering delivering carpets, right? Now, in my previous video, I mentioned about, again, manifesting using your consciousness, your imagination, and paralleling it with a scripture, a Bible verse, where I mentioned that you're put in the rock, okay, in here. This is a tabernacle, the tomb, right? And God passes, and then you see the back. But as I said, there's many layers to this, all right? Don't worry if this is all over the place. You don't know what I'm talking about. If you're following me, it's going to shout out at you, okay? It's also referring to us being put in a rock in this beast body, man. OK, and we we sort of go through a process seeing the back of God, should we say, seeing the beast side, God asleep, us asleep in spirit and in truth. And then later on, after the serpent has risen, OK, the resurrection of Christ that's in you. Then you see the face. Only those in spirit and in truth will see the fullness of God. Okay. I just want to mention that. Again, everything that I say and do is for a reason. Those who are really paying attention and present. I've been going through these videos. Things will start shouting out at you. Go through these videos. Wonderful jigsaw puzzle piece of gold. Okay. So. You will notice I've got dragons all on me I'm trying to fucking show you here okay if you can see that <laughs> Just quickly show. I got them on my back I got them all over and when I first started many years ago now I'm 45 and I got my first tattoo in my 
uh, many, many years ago, okay, of the dragon. I always said, and I don't know what it was, there was this voice in me, this inspiration, I will only get dragons tattooed on me. And funny enough, later, having a mystical experience, I said to my mum, I want a white ninja suit, a white garment with all sacred and secret symbols on it. I had no idea. This is what I said to my mum. And my mum had this vision and she, she, come, she said to me, you know, she sees these silver like symbols all over this garment or, and this gold, etc. And then years later, we had no idea that I would have been, that, well, years later, I'd end up with sacred symbols all on my body, a garment. Of course, at the time, we didn't know that this was a garment. So that was an amazing revelation. Okay, there's me saying many years ago with no knowledge, you know, just starting out, I wanted to put symbols on my garment. It's like spirits listening. It's like, okay, you'll get symbols on your gar garment. Of course, the body is a garment. <laughs> I found that really fascinating. Now, I did not know dragons. I, I will say through the years learning, studying day and night, I did find in the East, the Japanese dragon was symbolic of wisdom. All right. However, there's more to the dragon, a lot more. I'm going to give you a basic insight into the meaning of the word dragon. Okay. Dragon ultimately comes from the ancient Greek. I'm not even going to say that. Okay. Dragon, dragon, can't even pronounce it right. Okay. <laughs> Which means, all right, which name a dragon, which names a dragon, or more generally, a serpent, okay? Yes, I have serpents all over my body. Now, to uh, someone in the religious belief systems, okay, they might frown upon that, that I have serpents all over my body, and yet I know it's from spirit, okay? Again, follow your heart. Be yourself and listen to spirit in you. Don't listen to any belief systems of this world. Now, this word, in turn, derives from a verb to clearly see or to see clearly. All right. It literally means sharp sighted to clearly see dragon serpent. Funny, eh? Now, I keep mentioning in my videos that I am the visible image of my invisible God, who is above all, through all, in and all. I keep saying that my revelation, my knowing of God is that God is visible and he's above all, through all, and in all. He's like a protein being. He can take any shape and any form. It's multidimensional. He's always present, always talking to me. And all I see is God. Even though he's invisible, I see this invisible behind the presentations of the visible. Okay? Did I say it right? The invisible behind the visible. It's absolutely incredible. So I want to give a verse to back this up now. OK, because again, like I said in, well, throughout my videos, I use the scripture as a reference and authority in the things I'm saying. Because a lot of people, when I would say certain things, if I was to say certain things to someone, they wouldn't believe that it actually comes from scripture. All right. Hence, I use scripture as a reference and authority in the things I'm saying. OK. First Timothy 117. Now to the king eternal, immortal, invisible. All right. The only glory be honour and glory forever and ever. Amen. OK, God is invisible. The eternal king, who is the king of kings, Lord of lords, Lord Jesus Christ. That's in us. It's being formed in us through the rising of the serpent 
as I've already mentioned in my previous feet, uh, previous video. Jesus Christ has brass feet. All right. Moses raised up the serpent, the snake on the staff, the rod. OK, to heal people. Your spine is a rod staff. OK, where the fiery serpents move up your spine and once you get to a point and after going through certain processes there is these should we say activation this unlocking doors open up revelation and this is preparing the way for should we say the shift the translation the transformation all right but first you must come into the fullness the alpha and the mega with christ in the middle l okay it's the transformation of Cain, Satan, Lucifer, from the morning star to the great morning star. It's a flip. It's a translation. It's a transformation. You start off as a beast where God is asleep. Then God wakes up in you. OK, through the Christ being formed. This is all spirit and it's spiritual. It's alchemy. OK, it's the alchemical marriage of the electric magnetism, the masculine and feminine, the fire and water, that's all taking place in you as you're going through certain states and processes. Okay, so I'm gonna share this with you. Hebrews 2, 6 to, to 8. But somewhere, but somewhere it is testified in these words. What is man that you are mindful of him? Or the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the angels. All right. You crowned him with glory and honour and placed everything under his feet. When God subjected all things to him, he left nothing outside of his control. Yet at present, we do not see everything subject to him okay we have to go through certain processes all right we have to rise up that serpent us it's god waking up in man they're becoming as one okay where you're putting on eternity the acceptance of who you are as the spirit man still pit, pinned to the first image adam all right the beast they must become as one and you pin to the old man where you come into wisdom, acceptance, appreciation, compassion, the fruits of the spirit. OK, in Romans 2, 7, to those who by perseverance in doing good, seek glory, honour and mortality, he will give eternal life. Now, I want to show you something again. Remember the images that I give you. If they just go over your head, do not worry. Everything that I share, even with the images, is all for a reason. I'll try and explain as best I can. It's not easy to articulate and convey the truth. OK, so the first one is Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon the pole. Let me make sure. All right. Let me show you the next image. Now, in this image, you'll see Adam and Eve and the serpent on the tree. Now, you see the demons. All right. This is a, a powerful image. If you read Enoch and it's in the Bible, OK, the tree the serpent's climbing on, they cut the tree down to the stump. All right. This is where we hear about Jesse. OK, the root that grows out of the stump. We need the tree. The tree of knowledge, knowing the good and evil, so the serpent can climb up the tree. Hence, how do we help the serpent rise? We get knowledge and wisdom. OK, but you've got to keep away from this world. All right. You've got to separate yourself from the world and help this tree grow by obtaining knowledge and wisdom. All right. Let me show you the next image. Again, Adam and Eve with the tree. 
right this has got to be restored once it's restored you're going to take control of your serpent your fiery serpent this is why we're here in this journey All right again i'm not a part of any secret society or religious belief system in fact any belief system of this world before i show you some of these images okay but again you will see the masonic pillars the serpent on top okay yes there is schools of knowledge that initiated in these patterns here is Foth okay with two serpents the frail okay that you see them hold is to whip away negative thoughts and to hook on to positive okay the desirable things and so you take it's about controlling up here you're taking control and not letting man okay force his laws upon you okay he's control you're in control and hence with the serpent wisdom okay as you can see faith again giving eternal life same as we heard in the scripture and you see the two serpents right now this is important because the serpents are pointing inwards okay the wings okay they point inwards point in to the center you will see others they're pointing outwards all right they got point inwards here the treasure of treasures the treasure of treasures all right and again you see the serpent, right? With the all seeing eye, the eye of providence, or should we say, the Lord Jesus Christ here? Okay, this is the seat of God, all right? And you see the serpent. And this is so your soul can be birthed out the matrix. You see this angel. That figure there with the serpents, the wings, okay, being birthed out the world. All right, there's so much more symbolism to it. I just want to give you a basic insight into this imagery. All right, sorry for um, not good visual aids. I wish I had better equipment and software to be able to do stuff. But we just, we make do. Okay, all right, we've got a good time. So, the serpent, all right, a lot of, should we say, religious belief systems, well, should we say, naming any dominations, uh, not uh, nominations, should I say, domin uh, nominations, okay. I, got, I, I will not measure anyone or labor anyone. I've got nothing but love and compassion towards everyone and time from all, okay. I see God in everything and it, it's I see things totally different and I, I, I do see myself in them and I've been there and I'll never forget that okay the only difference between me and anyone else is one in degree time okay and yes it's horrible looking back and, and looking at should we say Brahm sisters you know of everyone out there who still sleep and I don't I used to take it a bit on as a, as a burden take it on a bit serious trying to save everyone but I can't do that only God is doing the works in us the Christ we make way we help to make way as mentioned in the Bible by getting knowledge and wisdom all right and so it's the serpent as I if as I was saying in my previous slide mercury is also tied with Mosif, with the horns. I did a slide on this many years ago, okay? Because God is in the beast, in the, in the dragon, in you, all right? You started off as this divine being and you had an idea, 
God had an idea of himself, which is you, the apple of his eye. Read your scripture. OK, and you come into the matrix for a transformation. This is what this world is about, to transform angels, celestial beings. OK, and so we come into the world with severe amnesia and we're cut down. All right. We are spiritually robbed and we create this first temple from social engineering, which creates the psychological makeup. This is all revealed in scripture. OK, until the appointed time. After playing many roles here and going through many states, then the Lord's Day will come upon you. And then you're going to go through some horrific transformation processes, <laughs> which is going to help you disconnect from this world where you can grow, okay, with knowledge and wisdom to prepare the way for the truth to should we say rise up in you okay to awaken back to self to prepare yourself for the future okay right i think i've said everything again those who have been paying attention watching over the recent years we had this mandela effect where People were having these mystical experiences, these strange anomalies, this phenomena where things were duplicating themselves. Like someone would find all of a sudden they had two hoovers, the exact same. Or there was, there was women who had uh, an extra nail just appear out of nowhere when they've had their nails done. And there was these strange anomalies where things were duplicating themselves, twins. We kept seeing uh, symbolism of twins everywhere. And this morning I saw synchronicities two deliveries delivering okay different addresses two rugs right simultaneously funny enough a double m class sun flare okay has gone off while the moon is going through the twins gemini funny enough i've got two scissors on the side there as well i'm seeing twos again everywhere and there is a reason for that because the two become one, okay? I and my father become one. Our soul is symbolic of female, right? And once you get to a wonderful state, a wonderful transformation, you are letting off a wonderful fragrance, okay? That pacifies the flame, the father, okay? Where the spirit falls in love and marries you. The marriage of the bride and bridegroom, okay? And this was you preparing the way, getting your vase. It's the parable of the virgins, okay? The ten virgins and only five have got wisdom, all right? And when spirit, the present comes, the master returns, and there is this judgment, there is this, should we say, when Jesus comes to reward everyone for the works that they've done, the parable of the tenants, spirit rises up like the dawn okay and he falls in love with those with this wonderful fragrance which is mentioned in king solomon's song of songs if i can remember that right okay there's a parable there where you see that there is this wonderful fragrance okay that pacifies a master okay makes him fall in love and if you know a bit about scripture, again, there's this connection with Jesus and scent, the way you, that you smell. All right. And so if you've got your garments clean, OK, through the acceptance of the lamb by repenting and turning away from this world and getting knowledge and rising up that serpent, OK, by changing your thought, word and deed, by being constructive coming from the fruits of the spirit i urge you go and look what the fruits of the spirit are okay by applying yourself excuse me in seeking in doing that which is right right is right okay this sweet fragrant fragrance is going to pour through you from your spirit okay and this is then 
all part of the marriage of the bride and bridegroom, the soul and source, the conceiver of conception, okay, the father and mother, okay, the bride and bridegroom. It's alchemical, it's alchemy, all right? And, it, and spirit is doing all the works and God has his elect and remnant. And, you know, many of us are here to help bring man into the adoption of Christ by putting what it is that we have obtained and where we are on a platform for others to um, come across and drink from the well, okay, from wisdom to receive light, revelation, guidance, okay, I cannot teach you anything, I cannot just tell you the truth, I can only point the way, you have to do the work yourself, all right, I do the best I can to articulate and convey the things I've received from spirit over 11 years studying day and night, wonderful jigsaw puzzle pieces of gold throughout these videos, okay, and I do have hundreds of slides at slide share presentations okay the link is in the link is in the description okay sorry for my stuttering I'm, i've done a lot today <laughs> right i think that's gonna do what time we got okay i hope you're all doing well seek truth get knowledge go through these videos go through the emerald tablets okay with both you can listen to it on youtube just sit in the bath or when you're driving or whatever you're doing just listen to it in the background Something might jump out at you, okay? Give you greater revelation. I'm here to help lift you up, all right, for the resurrection. As soon as we get that serpent risen up on that pole with our brass feet after everything we've, we've gone through in this world, okay? As soon as we get that up there, we are ready for the resurrection because the resurrection has not happened yet, okay? It happens within you. You are resurrected, okay? Remember, I travel, with you, I travel with you again in birth until Christ be formed in you. Okay, we're all dead in Christ. And when he's formed and we receive the treasure, uh, the child, Manuel, with the treasure, treasures, wisdom, knowledge, okay, revelation, our testimonies, because you will be tried and tested. You must stay strong. Okay, keep your head in the books. Turn away from this world. Okay, then the resurrection is going to happen. And when the resurrection comes, the son of man as it says in your scripture when the son of man comes it's the end of the age we go into a new age we're going into a wonderful new future right everything's not going to blow up and people disappear it again it's not going to go the way that people think get knowledge and get wisdom okay rise up your serpent the dragon i'm kenneth andre tango jitsu master and mystic ninja love you guys